positive news, goodnewsnetwork.org, Chattanooga Police updates policy to require officers to intervene in cases of brutality and report it. Now, this is awesome. And this sets up, uh, you know, a whole other potential fight. You know, we brought you the story of Officer Lane, who was involved in the George Floyd killing as one of the officers on the scene who uh, was part of manhandling George, getting him on the ground and was restraining his legs. And he actually told Officer Chauvin, his senior officer who was on his neck, hey, maybe you should roll him over. And he didn't, right? But what's he going to do, right? What's Sh what what's Lane going to do in that situation? He's like, hey, you're you are you're kill like, should I intervene? Yeah, but if I've already said, you know, I'm you, you don't stop doing that, please. Uh, I I think you might you might be killing this guy. And my senior officer says, no, it's fine. Go back to protecting me from this crowd. And the law says. He's going to be in more trouble if he shoves his superior officer off of George Floyd than if he stands back and just does his job. And that he is in the most, you know, like this is why you shouldn't be a cop. It's morally infeasible to, to know that you're doing the right thing in a situation like that. You are uh, deliberately subjecting yourself to incentivization to do the wrong thing so this chattanooga policy could really throw a wrench in that in the calculations of individual officers on the scene but also in the general paradigm of law enforcement chattanooga tennessee's police chief has updated his department's code of conduct saying his officers have a duty to intervene and to report it when others in the department commit acts of brutality or abuses of power. So this is a huge positive step in kind of police accountability to say, we're going to change the equation from, you know, every cop by virtue of not reporting stuff is just protecting the system to say like, no, now in order to be just an okay cop or just a go along, no, if you see, if you see corruption, if you see brutality, you are going to be liable for not doing something about it. You have to treat each other as cops under the law as you treat civilians chief david roddy announced the changes monday and also highlighted existing policy regarding how to deal with force all in an effort to address the issue of improper conduct in police ranks the duty to intervene has now been added and codified in the cpd policy quote each department member has the individual responsibility to intervene and stop any other member from committing an unlawful or, uh, unlawful or improper act, including but not limited to acts of brutality, abuses of process, abuses of authority, and any other criminal acts or major violations of department rules and procedures. Successful intervention does not negate a duty to report. Wow! Wow! That's amazing! Compared to the opposite, which is the current paradigm for police, this is really strong language. Now, I am not overly optimistic about how this is going to be employed. And this is one department. Chattanooga, Tennessee does not dictate where the rest of America goes. But just that we're getting a test of this huge reform in a major, is it major? significant american city chattanooga tennessee could have major impact now this depends on two other big things which is why you know in order to have like the full effect of, of what this language represents one is department policy and and, and leadership actually well, i suppose this is the policy department uh, leadership policy and enforcing this part of the policy right and what the actual practice is and what police in this department uh, are, are going to be experiencing for this policy. There's going to be have to be a lot of like if you're a cop on the force in Chattanooga, you're going to have a lot of questions right now. There's going to be training going on. Like, hey, what about this situation? What about that situation? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, what 
And then what it's going to come down to in the first line of response, again, is the leadership in that department. And the next thing is the legal enforcement. Are the relevant court systems going to uh, uphold this policy? Uh, and to what degree? Because there, you could go different ways with it, right? Like as, as an officer, uh, you know, would you say that, they, again, back to the case of Officer Lane in Minneapolis. Do you charge Lane under some good, like, as he did his job? Now, in a sense, is he aiding the, the murder? Kind of against his will. Because it's the officer who's his superior who's telling him, no, this is okay. And he doesn't know that he's going to die, right? It can't, it can't be a willful crime if he didn't know what was happening, right? Did Chauvin know that Floyd was going to die? Or did, uh, did Lane? No, certainly. I mean, Chauvin might have, and it might have been intentional on his part for all we know. But did Lane know? Mm-mm. And like even with Chauvin, I, you know, I hate to hate to be sympathetic to cops, but some kind of involuntary manslaughter might be more. Well, maybe not in, not involuntary. I'm um, sorry. No, there's another word. I, again, I'm not trying to defend what he did, but categorically, it's uh, was it reckless manslaughter? The, the, the negligent is it negligent manslaughter? You know, it, it's more that than deliberate. You know, now 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 maybe it is, and there's some conspiracy theories going around that because. Chauvin and Floyd worked at the same club briefly. Uh, Floyd as a as a bouncer and security guard, and uh, Chauvin as the off duty police officer outside, occasionally intervening. Could have been, uh, but do I trust government courts to apply the principles of justice consistently? as opposed to the principles of tyranny and punishment and control through the law? Of course not. So how much should Lane be culpable? I mean, that's a question that I couldn't even untangle. So good luck to whatever state, county, city courts are dealing with this in Chattanooga. But I hope you at least, as the Supreme Court would say, with all deliberate speed, Start taking advantage of this new policy to actually hold officers accountable as accessories for not stopping overt criminality with other cops.